9.2 practice problems. The reaction between sulfur dioxide and oxygen is represented in the chemical equation above. The table provides the approximate abs abs absolute entropies for oxygen and sulfur trioxide. Which of the following mathematical expressions can be used to correctly uh, calculate uh, the absolute entropy for sulfur dioxide? So we're going to be using the equation that the uh, uh, our delta entropy is going to be equal to the sum of the entropies for our products minus the sum of our entropies for our reactants. And we know that our delta S is equal to negative 187. And our product for uh, this reaction is the sulfur uh, trioxide here and we have two of them, so 2 times uh, 257 minus uh, the uh, oxygen S value, which is 205, and then also minus our, uh, our S value for the sulfur triox uh, sorry, dioxide, and then since we do have the uh, coefficient of two here, it's going to be two S for the uh, sulfur dioxide. Now, um, since this is negative, we're basically gonna want to uh, flip this here. So we're going to be moving uh, the sulfur uh, dioxide value over here and the 187 over here. So we will uh, go ahead and say that the two S for the SO2 is equal to the uh, uh, positive 187, just to kind of keep it in line here, positive 187 plus 2 times 257. And then um, we are still dealing with negative 205 since that value did not move. And it is uh, all being multiplied by 2 currently, so we'll divide both sides by 2. That is the same as saying 1 half. So the entropy for SO2 is going to be equal to uh, 1 half. 187 plus 2 times 257 minus 205. And that matches option choice C. So that is going to be my answer choice. The oxidation for phosphorus trichloride is represented by the equation above. The table provides the approximate values for the absolute molar entropies for the substances. Based off of the information given, what is the approximate delta S for the reaction? So again, we're going to be using that uh, the delta S is going to be equal to the sum of my uh, entropies for my products minus the sum of my entropies for my reactants. Uh, my products here is going to be the uh, uh, large complex here, and then I have a coefficient of 2, so 2 times 330 minus uh, the sum of these, so we have 2 times 310, and that plus uh, just 210, and we'll go ahead and plug that into the calculator. So 2 times 330, 6 60. And then uh, 2 times 310 plus 210 gives me 830. And 660 minus 830 gives me negative 170, which matches answer choice B. So that is going to be my uh, final answer choice there. In the reaction between uh, silver nitrate and calcium chloride is represented in the equation above, and the table provides the appro uh, approximate entropy values for the reactants and products, which of the following is the approximate delta S for the reaction. So again, we have that delta S is going to be equal to the sum of the entropies for our products minus the sum of our entropies for our reactants. And um, 
we will just need to be careful about all of the coefficients there. So we're going to have um, our products here be uh, two times the value for silver chloride, which is 96, plus uh, just one of the calcium nitrate, so 240, minus the uh, two times silver nitrate, so two times 220, and minus the calcium chloride, which is just 60. So two times 96 plus 240 gave me a value of 432 for the entropies for my products, minus uh, two times 220 plus 60 gave me 500 for my entropies for my reactants, and then 432 minus 500 gave me negative 68 which is answer choice A. So that is the answer choice that I would select. Use the following information from the table above to calculate the delta S value for the reaction at 298 Kelvin. This is basically the exact same thing that we've done in the previous two problems. So again, delta S is going to be the sum of the entropies for our reactants minus the sum of our entropies for our products. Our reactants are the nitrogen monoxide. I have two of them, so two times uh, 211. Oh, my apologies. I don't know why I accidentally did that. Uh, it is products minus reactants, not reactants minus products. I apologize. So two times the nitrogen dioxide value which is uh, 240 um, minus the sum of the uh, entropies for our reactants, which we have the uh, two times the nitrogen monoxide to 11, and then minus for the oxygen, which is just 205. So, uh, 2 times 240 gives me 480, minus 2 times 211 plus 205 gives me 627. 480 minus 627 gives me negative 147. And then we will need to make sure that we include the units. Since this is free response, we will uh, not get all of our credit if we don't include units, so make sure that you do that. So joules per Kelvin mole is going to be equal to my delta S for this reaction.